Ask for truth on behalf of Amanda Jane concerning the uh, health issues and relationship issues. And ask this in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love, and non violence. Blessed be to the truth always. And we just cut the deck like that for you, Amanda, and then we pop the cards to the side like so. Um, don't normally do sort of health readings because it isn't really a, a health reading, is it really? It's more a relationship thing. My personal opinion, regardless of, of readings, is if somebody can't stick with you through thick and thin, are they worth it? But that's my personal opinion. What do the cards say? What is the energy there? I have also have to sort of make sure I don't project my personal opinion on the cards. Uh, they, they could be totally to the opposite to what I, I think. I don't know. It's your relationship. And of course, the first card uh, is in the possession of the recent past. Your relationship in the recent past. About three or four weeks or so ago in the, in the sense about a moon phase behind. And this next card uh, will represent your relationship now uh, concerning what's going on. Because uh, you're saying you start uh, treatment there, uh, chemo, uh, on, on, on this Monday. Uh, uh, seems all of us have got to go to the doctor on Monday. Uh, just make sure you don't uh, bump into those flu patients and end up coming home with something else. Uh, that's the worst thing you want, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, the next card here, of course, we deal is uh, for the immediate future influence there. So that's the next three or four weeks or so, isn't it? Uh, let's see what's been going on, though, just over, over, the, over the past three or four weeks or so in this relationship uh, concerning this, see uh, what's been going on. Has bad news about this or that sort of pushed somebody away? I don't know. Is somebody not mature enough to uh, to face up to it? I don't know. That's my personal opinion. What does the card say? Uh, a, yes, the gate, just indicating a blockage, of course. And it just so it just really says that it's, uh, in, in in the sense that a, bar a barrier keeps you from your goal. Whatever that barrier is, well, with, I think it's quite obvious we know what the barrier is that keeps you from your goal in the relationship. Uh, of course, it's the health situation. So, really, that's a foregone conclusion. Um, but nevertheless, this barrier keeps you from your goal. Um, um, I, I, I don't know, would it be just the, the, the health thing or would it be other things as, as well? In, in, in the relationship, such as in either incompatibility or whatever, I don't know. Let's see what's going on now, and then we'll try and join the two cards together, if you get what I mean. We'll just uh, bring that round there. Now, just, just flip the card again nice and slow, not to disturb the energy there. Oh, you got the key and the treasury. Well, that's surrounded by darkness, anything that gl sort of glistens in the darkness, uh, you can see, can't you, normally, in subdued light. But, but of course the key just indicates that unlocked doors uh, are now being opened for you in, in some way or can now be opened of course uh, you're able to open new doors um, regardless of the, the gate there regardless of the blockage just recently nevertheless the key maybe to opening that that uh, uh, can now be opened maybe as one door closes in, in, in that literal sense, as a gate slams behind you, uh, doors can be opened uh, in front of you. Um, so, of course, as you go through one, you, you have to close it behind you and then go through the other and then close that one behind you as well. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, that's uh, interesting, isn't it? So, so of course, if it's the, 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 the chemo, the, 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 the treatment there, then, of course, that, that in itself... Uh, doors are opening and closing for you there, but certainly new doors will be uh, you'll be able to open new doors uh, for for you there, new opportunities uh, for you uh, health wise. Uh, from a relationship point of view, let's just see what maybe in the immediate future does that anything tie up there. 
Uh, sadly, the raven just indicates there's darkness on the horizon. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean for your health, of course. This could be the relationship, in the sense, uh, according to the relation, you know, with the relationship, of course, doors being able, you, you know, unlocked doors uh, uh, being opened uh, for, for for you uh, right now. Uh, that that means, regardless of darkness in the on on the horizon for the immediate future. Nevertheless, maybe that's what maybe maybe that's what it is. Although uh, the locked doors that can be opened now are being opened, as you would say. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the darkness on the horizon there for your relationship is is you know opportunities for your health. Uh, darkness for your relationship there um, but maybe as I said I've given my personal opinion about that and maybe that could be your opinion too I don't know so I want to pull out another card or two here I say two but at least certainly one more I just want to see what happens here with the raven uh, just uh, foretelling of darkness on the horizon at least for your relationship uh, with Stephen there, will you get through it? It looks as though for February you you probably won't. There's going to be darkness there. Um, what around March time there? Certainly with the Harlequin, just indicating that true feelings will be masked. Uh, maybe that's what he says. Now this could be, of course, your feelings, your true feelings are masked, and you're not saying how you really feel. But uh, I've got a funny feeling this could be him. He's masking, or he will be masking. It's the darkness for your relationship is there for February, of course. Darkness on the horizon for your relationship in February. Maybe because of those doors that are open for you, for your health, regardless of the, you know, not regardless of, but because of the blockage that, there. But nevertheless... I got a funny feeling here. I sort of sense as though the darkness uh, on the horizon for your relationship could be because he's masking his feelings, or he will end up go going within himself and 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 not saying how he truly feels. Feels maybe out of fear or something like that. I honestly don't know, but certainly. Uh, it's one thing to accuse somebody with one's personal opinion and another thing to assume that maybe, yes, we all have our limits and we all have our own boundaries and our own sort of stress levels uh, that we can tolerate um, because of that. It's the uh, in sickness and in health thing, isn't it? Although I always used to believe that you had to be married 16 times because a priest once told me four better, four worse, four richer, four poorer. So I, I always used to think you had to be married 16 times. Um, uh, so there you go. Uh, laughing and joking apart, I'm just going to pull out another card here for you because it looks as though he has feelings he's not going to sort of express how he really feels. Maybe he's not going to express that he really he is really afraid for you, and and maybe it's best to hide within himself. The hand of fate, there, Luke, uh, just indicating that uh, forces beyond your control intervene. So I don't know if that may be. Uh, you could assume it might be. I wouldn't assume it's your health. It's anything to do with you, but certainly forces beyond your control intervene. May. Maybe if you find, I'm not saying you find somebody else and, and, and sort of relinquish him from you, but uh, that's right weird. Or, 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 or if, uh, if, if, if just, just something happens that means that he not so much conveniently walks away because he can't cope with it, but certainly forces beyond your control intervene maybe to wake him up as well. Wake, wake him up and remove the mask because anybody who's wearing a mask masks can be removed the one who really wears the mask doesn't wear one because you don't know they've got one on and that's the true mask wearer isn't it and and, and that's probably what it is um, so the harlequin in the form of him of course will, will 
forces beyond your control will intervene and wake him up you up i don't know what's going on here i want to just pull another one up just see to see what's uh, going on there because of uh, um around about uh, you've got the february march and that's around about april forces beyond your control in april uh around about may certainly the element of air you know we just seek a union of mind and spirit maybe you've got to come some to some agreement with you and yourself about this this is a decision really you've got to be decisive and this is a decision you've got to make about your relationship uh, regardless of your health situation but certainly um that seems to be uh what's what's going on there uh, uh, certainly um so i don't know here february march april may june uh, hang on uh, sorry uh, february march april may sorry uh, what about june about summertime there is anything other words you'll be assisting others helping others so it looks as maybe as though you could be using magic you could be seeking guidance from magical sources or in, in, in from a realistic point of view you might be finding yourself counseling others who've had a similar sort of problem maybe using your skills to assist others whatever skills you've acquired whatever skills you've you you've you, that have been enhanced throughout this experience you'll be using it to help others and if he isn't part of it if Stephen isn't part of it uh, if he's still got that mass forces beyond your control uh, maybe force you into sort of literally in that sense into seeking a union of mind and spirit and coming to some agreement with you and yourself because this is about you you are number one center of the universe at the end of the day and if you can help others then it's it's a good uh, job maybe that you do do that because some people not so much beyond help but some people are just lagging behind a bit and have to either play catch up or have to just stay where they are and maybe with this relationship i get a funny feeling as though it's the uh, you move forward as doors are opened up for you for, for your health as, as well as but primarily for your relationship as doors open up your your health which which i suppose opens does open up a uh, relationship uh, uh, possibilities nevertheless the darkness uh, that's coming on the horizon there um, um just means that somebody ends up masking the true feelings doesn't say how they truly feel if this person is the harlequin is you and not stephen of course it could be you just don't want to tell telling the truth about whatever you know uh, either about your health but it doesn't look as if your health's going to get worse although forces beyond your control do intervene i do feel as the the hand of fate uh, intervenes more uh, as sod's law in, in in the relationship because um as you seek a union of mind and spirit you could look on the dark side and say well you've got to work something out because something's going to happen soon but it's just the fact that where you are using your skills to assess others if this does if it did sort of mean worst coming to the worst then certainly you wouldn't be around to help others would you so we can sort of rule out the worst by if if, if you're getting frightened there and if that sort of just driving a bit of chill into you there over that. Uh, the wizard uh, indicating that you'll be assisting others. Clearly you're, you, you're going to be around to do that. So we can rule that out and, and, and maybe that yes. I, I still go back to the original theory that the Harlequin is him I'm afraid. He's the one who's masking his feelings because of the darkness that the relationship goes through. Because maybe uh, we know what chemo does to us don't we. Uh, and also affects the uh, immune system, doesn't it? It's only on about the flu just earlier on as well. Because <laughs> we've all got to go for blood tests and things like that. And it's not going for the blood test that bothers me. It's uh, mixing with all those bloody old people who've got flu and coughing and spitting and bringing kids out, the super super spreaders, as, as they call them. Uh, I think if they could get, get rid of, I think we'd rid the world of kids. I think they'd be a far far better world. But then of course uh, uh, there wouldn't be many adults left, would they? So unfortunately, it's just uh, I suppose an occupational hazard. But laughing and joking apart, there it looks as if things are going to look up for you. 
uh, but for the relationship with uh, with Stephen there, uh, don't be surprised if the hand of fate, if forces beyond your control, just uh, bring something to an end because he doesn't express himself properly. He doesn't say how he really feels about this relationship. And um, if he isn't going to say, well, sorry, I can't cope with all this illness and I'd rather go out with somebody I can enjoy myself and get pissed with and uh, have a good time and, and probably, I don't know, uh, then, then, of course, uh, that's it. And this is unfortunately it, isn't it, where a lot of people who vote for corrupt, insensitive, um, virtually uh, genocidal governments like uh, the UK has voted for, it's usually the healthy, the fit and healthy people who, who are young, fit and healthy, not old, sick and ill, and, and have, have got to end up on the... On, you see, the, the, the affluent ones as well tend to... Uh, tend to tend, tend to be very selfish, don't they? But of course, it's usually the ones who've been through a bit there, like yourself, or who will have been in around about midsummer time there, where you might find yourself doing a not as much a counselling job, but certainly assisting others, helping others, maybe mentoring or something like that, maybe. Um, so, of course, we all, you, you, your soul has its own path, and you have to honour your soul's path, don't you? Honour your soul's purpose. As, as you say, talking about honouring soul's purpose and tra la 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 and what have you, I was just wondering, <coughs> I was just wondering really, because uh, it's all about healing really, isn't it, at the end of the day, if it's healing relationships or anything, I wonder what like, animal spirits may have to just say, we just, uh, uh, just ask you if uh, just a bit of guidance. Uh, from uh, uh, Blessed be to Raven and all the power animal spirits who guide, heal and protect. I just, I just want to just pull out, uh, uh, say, just pull out three of these uh, animal uh, spirit uh, energies here just to see what's going on there from a shamanic point of view. Yeah, Squirrel is just saying, really, just get ready for big changes. Um, that's to do with preparation, isn't it, I suppose, with the opportunities and the doors being unlocked for you there um, it's time for preparation of course you can prepare for yourself can't you can you prepare for others though I don't know you can certainly assess others like you will be doing very soon but uh, but uh, what uh, what's that about of course uh, the energy of koala there is more to do with empathy in the sense of yes uh, speak less and listen more I suppose that's what you'll be doing isn't it soon but uh, of course well, they've got the preparedness there. All you can do is speak less and listen more and just listen to what others are saying, their feelings, maybe even Stephen's feelings. But then again, if he's masking his feelings, you can only listen to masked feelings, can't you, there? Uh, let's just see what uh, what else he's uh, there. Uh, yeah, you've got the hummingbird just indicating really a bit joy, really, in the sense of lighting up. And uh, not so much take life less seriously, but certainly um, you've got something to look forward to. For as much as the darkness on the horizon with your relationship, uh, nevertheless, uh, once you, uh, once of course, I suppose, regardless of that, the hand of fate, maybe, uh, of course, forces beyond your control intervene for positive reasons. Maybe it's a stroke of good luck in some way. Um, uh, just something comes along that, that, that forces things to happen for, for spirit does that um, spirit isn't going to do anything to harm you in any way um, uh, but of course with that just, just lighten up and, and, and all, that's, that's all you can do put a smile on your face I just feel another one coming here um, the energy of Fox he usually represents magic doesn't he in this case more adaptability just uh, just really adapt to the changes that remember the, the changes get ready for those big changes just adapt to those changes uh, that are happening uh, or that will be happening there and, and, and that's what you can do just shapeshift really because uh, Fox does shapeshift and adapt to his environment and all you can do is adapt and shapeshift if somebody else um, has trouble expressing how they feel 
In regards to the darkness, of course, you can adjust to the darkness and navigate through the darkness. Ask Fox to, to protect you. Because Fox, of course, is a four-legged spirit. And four-legged spirits, they walk on the earth and they protect. So you could ask, pray to Fox and ask Fox, brother, for, for, for protection. Just like Koala, brother, protects you and helps you to, to listen and whatever. And, 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 and Squirrel protects you through through a preparation, uh, uh, umming bird, of course, are the bird people. The bird people carry the messages from the heavens to the earth, don't they? So there's guidance there, the guidance really throughout this. Although there is the protection going on in the form of what, what we know, um, uh, the humming bird is there just to guide you and say, lighten up and just uh, accept the joy. Uh, not necessarily happiness, because happiness is what uh, is based upon what happens to us, isn't it? And of course, we just pull. I just feel one more coming out here. Yes, uh, whatever happens there, as you adapt to the changes going on around you there, and as you shape shift, of course, and as that shape shifting energy protects you, as you uh, put on dark clothes in the dark and light clothes in the light, or whatever that may be. Uh, just remember uh, the innocence, and 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 of course, porcupine there. Just. And just reminding you again, protecting you, protecting you with the innocence, knowing that all you've got to do is free yourself. Free yourself from the guilt and the shame that you may feel because of uh, a relationship that may have ended or, 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 or uh, an illness that you feel that you could have caught earlier or, or something, I don't know. But either, nevertheless, you will be around to assist others. How will you assist others? I'm just going to pull a card out just for that wizard there. Popping it over there, look at that freedom. The horse, just indicating, of course, the horse. Uh, in, in the runes, of course, the A was that the horse is it, to do with putting things into motion, to do a spiritual movement. Not physical movement, as in the galloping movement of the horse, but physical spiritual movement, as in putting things into motion, action being taken. And isn't that strange? <laughs> That's just, I said I'll pull that one out, especially for that one there. The wizard, as if... You're assisting others, taking action, and of course, it's to do with the freedom and the horse. Horse brother just says to you, he protects again and protects you with freedom. You are protected with that, uh, with the freedom, and you always have a choice, don't you? You always have a choice of what you want to do. You can choose to assist others with the skills that you well have, well have, uh, the, 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 well have enhanced somewhere along the line there. You can choose to use your skills to us to to aid others and mentor others, or or you can choose not to. It's it's up to you. You always have a choice, and that's the key to it. Stephen always has a choice to either accept what's going on, or of course we all have our yes, we have our stress levels and and, and things. We can accept. You can choose to accept it or not. And, and that's the main thing, isn't it? So with that then, um, it looks as though uh, the future is bright, but some people just have to grow up a bit. Yes, OK, that was my original sort of opinion, wasn't it, really? Um, uh, which I, I can't help not really uh, using a bit of my own personal view on it there, yeah, with the, the, the nature of the question but the wizard's out on his own there isn't he just providing you with the magic and let's hope that he will provide you with the healing power that you need to help heal others with the energy that will heal you and of course the power animals there uh, are there to, to heal you as well uh, with, with, with the shamanic healing that uh, that, that 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 your soul has a purpose that you must must honor that purpose and honor your soul's purpose there because that is the path of your soul so with that these cards have now spoken